this way. As they say, a bard must be a quick talker mm. to make a journey slow down. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. A bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan. And he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Why are you doing this again? I want to look into the eyes. What then? Don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Church! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's Yard, the Mama's Play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo doo. God! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his. In a way. Sharing it. With a Doppler named Dudu. That was courageous, Dudu. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. 
I get a bit carried away at times, but mostly I'm careful. Shows an interesting line of business. Dude has always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Helped me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The devil guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Help a woman in need. Ah, I love the air after a good rain. Huh? Oh. I visited a city once that was very much like Nevergrid. But the people there were much taller and had dark skin. Is somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Huh. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Geralt? Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners. You're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Draw your weapons. Let's get this over with. Whoa. What? You're out to hurt her. I won't let you. So we'll argue and swagger and have who knows how long a pissing contest. I don't have time for that. Draw your swords. Not your lucky day. Thank you. I seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Defender of the downtrodden. Hmm. Just so happens that I was just trodden upon head to toe. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to help me recover. Be you strumpet. Control yourself. This is Geralt. <laughs> Why didn't you say so to start with? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. What, for example? For example, 
how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. <sighs> so, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. How terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, oh. I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? Hmm. There! Valdo! That Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. You would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Let us start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri? You know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Come on. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! I don't know. You're trailing! Watch where you're going or you'll fall.
<laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to... Can still beat you. i let you win. Lovely race! Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If, that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> You promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Your life is yours, exclusively. You choose who you are. Uh, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eridin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalar. Avalar's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? Pah, lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Uh, 
What can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. All right. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. You'll wake them. Stop staring, you'll jinx our work. Side. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. I beat me a boss.
the key. Quick, get in here. Gotta call the force before they wake the guards. Finally! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Should have stayed Wild hunt to take you all. Trouble? Yeah, mm. Won't find any better. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountain. It's nice. <laughs> Greetings, Ivy. Greetings, Geralt. What do you have?
Greetings. Greetings, girl. Listen. So... Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. So... I need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. Thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolbathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. 
Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalark claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Imlarith. That's the sole comfort I find in this, but it's no justification. You know what might have happened? But it didn't. I was there, had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Past burning pyres on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novograd. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress, and Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. Not seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. We will. We have to. I'll rest easier when they're both here, with us. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philip had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Sultan. Huh. So Philippa was here, under our noses, the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. 
We got any leads? We have this. That Philip at the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later? Fine. The fountain outside the passive flora. And hurry, please. to light a pyre in this weather. The rain will cleanse the city's streets of filth. Sure you weren't followed? Yeah. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. You can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et weir, Robert Michele, Alferte. Graham, et weir, de Agnes Kerle, es Pirschena, a es Kleis. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her. At his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. Ah! I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Well, not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe. But still a powerful Let's sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium yes, off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. You, uh, holding up all right? Uh... It'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...that you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. So long, Triss. Hunter and chases old crow. Now the black one 
Vikings will go after those pirates of Skinnega. Oh! Do you know, Mr. Menga? You don't, you soon will. Watch out! Guess they underestimated Philippa. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! Stay here, Triss, in case she tries to flee this way. Be careful. She might be blind, but she's still dangerous. And don't hurt her. That? I want to help her. Birdy, no. Past, go. Say, but, no. Let past go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? Aye. But once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But, no want. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. Mm. But let pass go. Which help? Go. I want to help you. Help me die.
time you're ugly. Stop squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Chris is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his ass, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman, especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Siggy, I am impressed. Doubt it you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so. I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet, with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help.
creature. Can I be? Got some. You've come to the right place. Non-human. You're everywhere! Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. A share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the goo, or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it. Could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Strange. Neckers rarely venture one kept it in a cage. Hmm. Bars were sawed through. That's why it escaped. Wide, deep print. A dwarf? <clears throat> so, you take care of the beast? Yes. I knew hiring which would be quickest. So, figure out how it got in there. found a cage. Someone had kept the necker in it. Bars had been sawed through, though. So someone wanted it to escape. Which one of them did it? I think it was the dwarf. What? Rubbish! Tripe! Why the hell would they do that? Seems plausible this racist got under your skin. But that's enough. Here's your pay. And you, come with me. Can't wait to watch him swing. Someone will have to lift him onto the stool.
Who knows? Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. You bloody tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Let up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I've an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovitz hired you to find Philippa? You're nosy. Starting to piss me off, you know? I know. Forgive me. It comes with the job. No. You're not a spy anymore. Remember? Chose the life of a criminal. No. That choice was made for me. Philippa forced me to flee Redania. Radovid prevented me from returning. The extra infernally sad story really fucking tugs at the art street. But do you mind getting back to the matter at hand? Yes, right. Geralt, be so kind as to answer the question. He give you the contract or not? Mm-hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name. Intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll. Bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deeksra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we offer a bleed beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kill. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what right, about wolf? them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? Oh. If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Philippa? 
What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's lost his mind. Doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. A Damian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me. Like the others. What others? Ah. You see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Isleheart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid. So a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it. Shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh. And I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. 
Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well? Where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. You don't know where Philip is hiding. Not exactly without me. Fret not. We'll manage. Naturally, it would be easier with your help, but you irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? <gasps> Fuck! Free the Witcher, then Radovid! Show me what you got.
Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Bradovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink, and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Sure this isn't premature. Radovid's dead, but it's a long way from that to a free Temeria. War's not over, not even close. You're mistaken. Tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich Ed and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet. But I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Roach, you? In league with Nilfgaard? I'm prepared to do anything for Temeria. Even whore myself out. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty, and to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all.
Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilfgaardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. The diagrams. They're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. Thanks. Farewell to you. Never ending creation be praised. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got.
Thanks. So long. It's a rank. 